Well, let's now take you back to our earlier story about that unfortunate incident in Lagos today, where over a thousand shops were shut down as a result of a deadly gas explosion that rocked a mechanic workshop on the ever busy Ojekunle Street in the popular Ladipo Market area of Lagos State. We have details in this report. Just when we arrived and thought the worst had passed, this scene saw us scampering to safety for fear of another explosion. Tuesday's explosion left shop owners and bystanders gathering to offer whatever support they could to emergency responders. This incident occurred in the early hours of the morning and we found an eyewitness who recounted all she could. Early this morning, I, I was at my workplace. I was cooking. Yeah, work out for this because I'm a chef. Okay. So I ha suddenly I was in the process of making fried bread. Right? Then I had an explosion out of, out of fear. I wanted to know what triggered and what prompted. Everybody was already running and trying to escape. Then s smoke everywhere. Like the grass of my workplace, the thing persists. So imagine if it was everything that is spreaded. Just imagine the damages. One did this to us. Imagine what? Ten. The question on many lips is what could really have caused such an explosion? An official of the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency confirmed that no fewer than 10 persons had been treated and said the cooking habits of food vendors could be responsible for the unfortunate incident. That people should be conscious of anything that can lead to fire. It is not as, okay for this for this incident we have a shop selling gas and there we have a woman according to information with us uh, that, do, that is frying a car uh, puff puff at the front of the at the frontage of the shop so it's a pathetic situation between five bodies from the from this incident the five bodies that were retrieved has been taken to the mortuary however i need to assure the good people of lagos state that we are going to ensure safety of their lives and properties we are going to constitute a committee to look at it holistically to know the etiology the pathogenesis and what led to this tuesday's tragedy represents a trend of avoidable disasters that have become a trend in public places especially markets where lives and properties are often lost Zakaria Abubaka lost two brothers in this incident. His story is one of extreme tragedy. Around it will be 9 30. So the, my brother called me that said there's gas, uh, gas explosion at uh, Ojokule. Why my people they do iron and scrap business? And immediately he can tell me that it may my brother to my brother died there in pieces. So that's why I rushed come from house. As I came here, I saw them, just all of them, they die in pieces. The Lagos State Commissioner of Police, Hakim Odumosu, who was also at the scene to expect the damage, blamed the incident on likely negligence and promised that the matter would be investigated. It's a disaster venue and completely avoidable one. Completely avoidable disaster, human negligence. That led to it. Because of what I've seen there now, for what I've heard, the team blew off when somebody was trying to refuel the gas cylinder as well as making call. So finally we have said this. Don't get to any gas exposed environment and make calls. If anything, the need to enforce proper safety standards is the link between both tragedies.